and McCaffrey is a rare running back double dip of Offensive Player of the Year candidate and MVP candidate. And just before I let you go, this is something that I think needs to be hammered and not lost on anybody, is the aggressiveness of this organization, Lynch and Shanahan, and obviously Jed York greenlining all of this stuff, to basically say, you know what, we had a Super Bowl offense with basically the same guys, and we still have one here. But we need to, even though we just spent a ton of draft capital to go trade up on a quarterback that's a big question mark in Lance, we're going to spend pretty much the rest of our draft capital to go get (laughs) McCaffrey. And he is absolutely the difference maker on this offense, with all due respect to Purdy being as veteran as he has coming out of the box. This is the difference here, and this is the reason why they can go into this Super Bowl and win it if uh, an A-plus Mahomes and Kelsey show up because of that guy, because of 23. What What's your reporting on, on, on how they went ahead and said, damn the torpedoes, let's go get McCaffrey, David? Well, it, it, you know, it's a reversal of their role with the Chiefs in the last Super Bowl with the Chiefs with the number one offense and the 49ers were like number six or number seven. Yes, adding McCaffrey and obviously getting the the – high level quarterback play from Purdy, the combination of both of those has supercharged this offense. And now the 49ers are that number one unit. So you can withstand some defensive erosion when you've got the offense that, that they have right now, that is going full steam ahead. And I think the 49ers are all about being very willing to spend a lot of capital to go get true blue chip players. They'll repay their own. If they deem a player, an A-lister, they're going to back up the Brinks trucks for the Brinks truck for him. Nick Bosa, they just paid him a ton of money this offseason. You saw Debo Samuel, they consider him an A lister too. They'll let the B listers walk in free agency. That's how they tried to replenish through the draft and development. But when they saw a player like Christian McCaffrey available, hmm. especially because he fits exactly what Kyle Shanahan has been trying to do offensively, and that is positionless skill positions. He likes the adaptability. He likes being able to spread you out into a nickel package with somebody who can threaten to be a receiver, and obviously Christian McCaffrey can do that. And as soon as he gets you in the personnel package that's vulnerable to the run, he can have McCaffrey take the handoff. That Debo Samuel is just as adaptable, right? So the 49ers now have two of those guys in Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey. And it's impossible for defenses to, to know how the 49ers are going to attack coming out of the huddle. So Kyle Shanahan, it's kind of like putty in his hands, right? He can, he can definitely mess with opposing defenses when he has that kind of adaptability and versatility. So I think when they had a chance to get Christian McCaffrey last season, they were willing to invest a lot and they were, uh, I think lucky enough to have a little bit more draft capital to spend than the Rams did. And a lot of the impetus at the time was let's make sure the Rams don't get Christian McCaffrey. You That's what they said. Could you imagine yeah. the difference could right it, now? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, could could have shifted the balance of power in the not not only the NFC West and the entire NFL. Unbelievable. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free.